the Air Jordan 6 is one of those shoes that there's just so many different ways you can wear them. And also there's a lot of different ways you can lace them. And today, I'm going to show y'all a quick tutorial how to lace Jordan 6s, man. I feel like I made this type of video not only just because it's my most viewed TikTok on my TikTok page, but it's no reason for me to make 10 different type of TikTok videos on just one type of shoe and just how to do different type of lace styles. I'm just gonna make one big video on the YouTube channel. Help y'all out, man. Help the streets out. I had a lace joint season, man. And before we get into this video today, I go by LJ. Welcome to my channel, man. I talk about shoes, fashion, all that good stuff. Hey, man, if you enjoy the content today, go ahead and watch the video all the way through, man. Uh, leave a like, comment, and most importantly, man, subscribe to the channel, man. We building a little small little community around here, bro. I'd be greatly appreciated if y'all leave a uh, if y'all go ahead and subscribe to your boy. No further ado, man. Let's go ahead and get into this video, man. I had a lace joint sixes, bro. Let's get it. But yeah, bro. But like I was saying earlier, with the joint sixes, man, you can real deal style them and lace them up so many different ways. I can't even count how many different ways you can lace and also style joint sixes. Today, I'm gonna show y'all pretty much all the ways that I could think of off the top of my head <laughs> of you know different ways you can lace them with and without the lace lock. So we're gonna see which shoe I'm gonna go ahead and pick. Uh, I'm going to pick my favorite six of all time, the black infrareds. All right, so I'm gonna start off with a clean slate. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and lace these joints right quick. I'm going to speed this thing up for y'all so y'all won't be here all day. This will be a short video. I say about, uh, I'm gonna try to get y'all in and out about seven minutes. Stop the cap. <laughs> So we're gonna go ahead and speed this thing on up right now. So let's go ahead and yeah, speed this thing on up, bro. All right, so we at the at the bottom, and so all we're gonna do now is just get our lace and just go in inside and then work your way out through the lace hole. You know, just make sure your laces are flat. You make it, you just make it a little neat. I don't know if it's like, I guess I got like some type of OCD or something out there, but man, I just like my laces to be flat, man. Just give off, give off this real clean look. But it's just whatever you prefer. I just prefer my laces to be real, you know, flat. I don't want to be all rolled up and curled up like that, man. I just want my laces nice and flat. And just keep everything looking real clean, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna speed this thing right back up. Again, I'm already just, <laughs> Overwork myself though, but but y'all y'all get what I'm saying though. Let's speed this thing back on up. All right, so we get to the sleeve part right here, the lace cover with the little neoprene sleeve. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your lace, you're gonna go right under here, and then you're gonna work. I'm gonna go straight across to this side to this lace hole right here. And then just go straight through. You know, like I said, just make sure your lace real flat, nice and neat, you know what I'm saying? And if I may end up getting a different camera angle so it can be a lot closer, help you all out a little bit. Man, if I'm going to switch angles right quick. All right, so it's a lot better right there. So, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get this lace right here and do the same thing on the opposite side. So this lace is going to go right back under this little lace cover. Then just go ahead and push it right on through to the other side. And just go ahead and go straight across. Lace is flat. So now it's the tricky part because so everybody pretty much gets stuck at this part right here with the sleeve. They just want to know, like, okay, I'm mean, at like, how in the world I'm supposed to go from this side back to the top side. And so what you got to do is you got to go right back under that same little pocket. Go back under this same little lower pocket right here. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if y'all can see it or not. The little lace pocket right here, like go back under it again. But this time I'll go straight up across. It really doesn't matter how you do it because the, the little sleeve is covering it. And so you just go right back up at the top. 
Then you come out out here. And then the same thing over here. Back under here. Now I think about I should use the uh <laughs> the carmines. So this black kind of blending in though, but it's all good. And bun this part up up here. And boom. And so you pretty much at this part, you know, you can pretty much just lace it up regular. You know how you normally know do it because you know what I'm saying, the bunny ears or whatever. Do it that way, you know what I'm saying? That's how pretty much majority of everybody gonna probably gonna wear it because a lot of people don't like messing with the lace a lot like that. So they do it that way. Or you can just go loosey goosey with it and just go all the way to the top with it. You know, you're gonna see a lot of people wearing it that way also. You know, just give it a look. You know what I mean? Just loosen it up some. And we won't be walking on your laces like that. I'll pretty much wear it this way. And then with the lace lock, you know, I had to go back out like this. And so what you can do with the lace lock, so this is how I normally do it. This is like my favorite way right here with the lace lock. Like, I, like how I originally had it. Know, put your laces together like this. Then you throw the lace lock on that thing. If I can get it on. Just like this. And you just throw the lace lock on like that. And boom, you know. This like this is my favorite way of doing it. Because I, I like the lace lock. That way, that way I can just go ahead and just go and put my foot in, you know, this it on out, you know, and just put my foot in and I'm, I'm gone, you know, so that's it. So that's one way you can do it, the lace lock. But some people, you want that extra, <laughs> you want to be extra locked in the lace lock. Some people like keep the lace lock like that and they go ahead and tie their shoe up. It look kind of weird though, but I, I've seen some people that actually, you know, lace it up, you know, with the lace lock like that. I have seen like that before. All right, so now I'm gonna show you a different way. And matter of fact, I haven't seen other people, they didn't, they, they wanna use the lace lock, they just put it on this side right here. And I didn't seen it, how people wear it like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It just, like I said, it's just different ways you can style the six, man. Like, it just, it just so many different ways. I'm gonna show y'all a different way to do it with the lace lock. Go ahead and, good thing is I ain't got a, I ain't gotta undo the whole shoe like that. I ain't seen some guys, they'll do it this way with the lace lock right in the middle of the shoe. So what you'll do is you go all the way, you'll unlace it midways until you go under the, the sleeve. And then what you're gonna do is gonna grab your lace lock. You can either do it on the joint side, the Nike side. I might do it on the Nike side just because it's got the Nike Air on it. Well, yeah, I'm doing it on the Nike side. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your lace, push it to this side right here, and then grab your other lace, and push it through on this side right here. And just lace them up how you normally do it. You can pretty much do it this way. Like, that ain't, that ain't, like this ain't bad at all. I like this way. But the same way, loosey-goosey way, or go all the way to the top. You know, just wear it that way, or go all the way to the top. Place it all the way to the top, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, there's, there's so many different ways you can do a joint season, man. No matter which way you do it, man, you can just customize how you like them. And also, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all a way to for the laces out to be at the bottom. This is also a popular way to do that. But this time, I'm going to go ahead and use the carmines. <laughs> all right, so how y'all get the laces at the, all the way at the bottom? I'm gonna just grab your laces, get your laces out. Go ahead and just get it all the way through the middle. Pretty much choose the size you want to be on. So we're gonna do we're gonna do the joint side this time around. Get it right in the middle, and then just grab your lace, and you're gonna go from the 
outside in. Always go outside in. Starting off with any kind of shoe you got. Go outside in. And make sure your laces are even. It's like the most important thing, man. It's like sneaker lacing one on one. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like the number one rule before you even start lacing up the shoe. Like you gotta make sure your laces are even, bro. You know what I'm saying? And just as you go. I did so you can use the joint side, right? So you want to do the joint side, and then my hand speed the thing up, you know. And that's how you had to style with the lace lock at the bottom. This is also a real popular way to do it. Also, I think you're gonna see a lot of people do it this way. And you're gonna see a lot of people pretty much do it these type of ways right here. It's gonna be the most popular that you see so far. You know, with these. And also, you know, you can do the same way, you know, put the laces all at the top. I mean, I pretty much, you know, get the idea, you know, pretty much. The main thing is you just customize the shoe how you want, you know, with the lace lock, pretty much. The lace lock gonna give the shoe a different look, no matter how you do it. And so the last, but definitely not least, with the lace lock, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video on up. So we're gonna have the lace lock in the middle. But I'm, I'm gonna show y'all how it go. So I'm gonna go keep this <laughs> lace as is, you know what I'm saying? Just to speed this thing on up. And so I guess I can go back to the, let's go back to the infrareds on this one. Cause it's gonna be a lot easier. All right, so another style I saw. So the lace lock is gonna be right here in the middle. Get your lace. You know, make sure your lace is on the uh, second lace hole at the top. Second to the top with them. You know, grab your lace. Go right here, push it through, push down through. It's easy, just like that. You know, just adjust the slack on it. You know what I'm saying? Just to, you know. Just do it like that. See, man, it's like, it's, so, it's just so many different ways you can lace a six, man, with the lace lock. This is what makes six is just so versatile. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video, man. And y'all enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and also, man, leave a comment if y'all wanna see more lace tutorials like this, man. I got plenty of different shoes, all different number J's, but really just one through 14. So anything, anything one through 14, y'all want to see me do a lace tutorial on, let me know in the comment section, bro. But uh, once again, man, I'm LJ. This is LJ Got Soul, bro. Checking in, checking out, bro. Hey, I got one question for you, man. Are you better than what you was yesterday, bro? I hope so. All right, man, I'm out. Y'all take care.